This dude still took two girls home from the street. We're like, oh my God. We text this dude today. Tell me why this dude ain't reply yet. There's certain things you just shouldn't do. It don't matter what you tell people sometimes, man. They just don't listen, man. Oh, yeah, so it's my last day in Medellin, Colombia, you know what I mean? Just walking around in the daytime, you know? About to go get some food or whatever. And for the most part, my first day back since 2019, I was kind of concerned about coming out here by myself. But it actually turned out to be fairly, you know, as long as you follow the rules, like I said, you don't pick up no chicks from the street. Or if you do, you don't take them back and pay. Let me tell you something. There's this guy, well, I came alone, right? But I ended up being cool with this, ended up getting cool with this one dude from DC. Dude cool as hell. I met him in the um, one of them clubs in La Isla. If you know what that is about. But we ended up going to, to uh, lunch yesterday. We met up with this one dude at this southern, southern style food spot, black owned business here in Medellin. We met this, we met a couple of dudes in there. We was all talking about how people be getting drugged and shit. You know, if you don't watch your drinks and if you bring the chick from the street to the crib in pairs, especially, right? You let them pour your drink or, you, you know, you leave your drink around them. We were saying all that shit. And then this dude that we that was sitting there that was cool with us too, some other black dude from Florida. Yesterday, yeah, yesterday, my dude from D.C. that I met here, he said that, yo, guess what? I was like, what? He said that dude that we was talking, everybody was talking about how dangerous it may be if you do certain things, right? This dude still took two girls home from the street in Parque Jera. And we're like, yo, dog. That's the spot where they do that shit for, for, for sport, you know what I'm saying? Wake up butt ass naked with all your shit going. Like, we told him this shit. This nigga was like, nah, man, they feeling me. You know what I mean? They feeling the boy. I'm like, they feeling you? Okay. Yeah, I got to know him. They feeling me or whatever. Like, yeah, I took two back. We like, oh my God. We text this dude today. Tell me why this dude ain't reply yet. He ain't even read the message. You know what I mean? <laughs> so... Hopefully he's good, but we it don't matter what you tell people sometimes, man. Some people don't freaking listen. They just don't listen, man. You know what I'm saying? You in a foreign country, we all telling you the, the rules, how to move. I mean, so, to be honest, it's a nice place. The people are sweet. You know what I'm saying? It's fairly, you know, safe. It's fairly safe, but there's certain things you just shouldn't do. Even yesterday, we went to some place called La Siguienta or La Citente, or I think whatever, I forgot the name of it. Yeah, Jenny Lau, we went to this club called Jenny Lau. It's like an Afro-Latina mainly club, right? That area is mad packed to the brim with mad people outside, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody going to snatch you up in front of everybody like that, you know what I'm saying? And it's bad for business, because like I said before, the hell runs this whole city, and they, and they like the tourist money, so they ain't going to try to mess that up. So if you go to Cali, or if you go to like, I think Cali or Cartagena, I think more, more so Cali, I think, there's no order over there. So there's a whole bunch of dudes just trying to be a boss. They all rogue with their shit. That's why a lot of people get more hand up, you know what I'm saying, and you know, get into some weirder situations in those places than Medellin. Medellin is, you know, the cab driver told me, they go, the run this shit, you know what I'm saying, all this shit. But I feel like they sit at a round table, you know what I'm saying, like, yo, we gonna put some resources into the, you know what I mean, the restaurants, you know, the, the massage parlors, strip clubs. They gonna put like some, you know what I mean, some order and structure. And they don't want people fucking up their business because the tourists bring the money. But you go to Cali or something like that, it's, I think it's Cali or Cartagena. I think it's Cali. But both of those spots is not as safe as Medellin, even though Medellin is known to have, you know, a lot of chicks in the street drugging you. You know what I'm saying? When you get back to the crib with them, you wouldn't get that in the strip clubs. You go to a strip club, it, it's, it's regulated, all that shit. It's fairly safe and it's regulated. Everything is, everything is structured. Somebody got married or something. He was a big ass pit bull. What the hell? This dude ain't head his back yet. But like I told y'all all the time, man, just keep saying the P's and Q's, man. Keep your head on the swivel like they like to say, you know what I mean? You know? And oh yeah, La Siguiente, La Siguiente with that Afro club I was telling you about. If you stay on the strip, you should be good. But this dude that we met yesterday was like, yo, he knows two people that went down the side streets and they got stabbed. Most likely because they resisted getting uh, getting robbed. So he's, he knows two people from two separate situations that went down the beaten path. And whenever you come here, you got to stay in these areas. Stay, stay where there's mad people. You know what I mean? Where there's a whole bunch of people. Yeah, the dude got stabbed probably, you know. Yeah, it's kind of messed up. Listen to the locals and they tell you, you know what I mean? What not to do. Just, just don't do it. So, like I said, watch your wallet. 
you got those little dudes coming up rapping and rapping to you in the street or whatever. Look around and see if the, you know what I'm saying? Don't get distracted rapping to you and then the other dude is like in your pockets when you're not, you know what I mean? Looking, if you have your phone out, they can snatch it. A couple of things you can just watch out for. But it's not like crazy bad. The only thing, I, like I said before, is what didn't want to make me come here this time is because I was coming alone, solo, and also that I heard about that Asian dude that got freaking killed. He had met some chick on Tinder. So one of the things is don't meet no chicks on Tinder because a lot of these, these gangs run that shit when it comes to the chicks. Yeah, so that's what scared me from coming here, but I'm glad I came here. It kind of eased my mind after the first day. Yeah, man, I met some new friends. I met a whole bunch of dudes from New York too. So I went to like, it was like yesterday, that's a strip club, and shit was nice. Don't be afraid to come here, just, just be smart, you know what I mean? Also, another thing that I realized and notice is that dudes could drive their ass off, you know what I'm saying? But it's scary, it's scary driving with them, you know what I mean? Because they be swerving through motorcycles and all that, you know what I mean? But, you know, just wear your seatbelt, you know what I mean? You don't want to get, you know, you know, situations where you got your leg broken on a holiday, you know what I mean? So I came here to get freaking lunch, and there's a, I didn't see this last time, well, I came during when it was like COVID, there's a long ass line over there. So I might just take my ass to Hooters. Look at this long ass freaking line. Jesus Christ, the food ain't that busting. I ate here last time, it was all right. Shit packed to the brim. God damn. What's the name of the spot? I forgot. I took a, well, I took a video of it earlier. Maybe you saw it. Also of note, you know, Cali is, uh, Cartagena is more touristy. So it's kind of like if you go to Thailand and you go to Phuket instead of Pattaya, Phuket is more touristy. You get all the tourist stuff is way more expensive or whatever the case is, you know what I mean? So, you know, yeah, just keep that in mind. Medellin is a little less. You know, yeah, make sure you get you, uh, also keep using Uber. I know Uber is technically illegal here for them to use, but for us, we could just, you know, just use Uber. Don't use no rogue random taxi. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know where that nigga might take you. You know what I mean? So just keep using Uber. Download Uber. Use the app. It's cheap. It's cheap. It'll, it'll be way cheaper than if you actually went to try to get a dude in the street that's a random taxi. He might try to take the meter off and do all kind of shady shit. So keep using Uber you know, when you get here. Also, like I said before, don't be coming here wearing no jewelry and, you know what I'm saying? And no flashy shit. Just don't do it, man. I got, I, I wear diamond earrings and I got a gold necklaces and stuff. I ain't bring none of that over here. You know what I'm saying? So don't be a fool, man. People come here, they try to do it, try to floss. These people ain't as rich as, you know, we're not rich back home, but I'm saying like America, whatever, but they're not as fortunate as us as far as like the money side, like the locals are compared to the locals in America, right? But people that got money in America. Basically don't come here. They said, there's, there's a saying here that, that says, don't give papaya, which is sweet. Papaya is a sweet fruit. Don't give them, don't give, you know, any hoodlums or anybody a reason to rob you. You know what I'm, I'm looking around my shoulders and stuff right now, even though I'm, I'm, I'm kind of paranoid, you know what I'm saying? But I shouldn't be. But, you know, I don't want to run up and snatch my camera like one of them little hoodlums. But yeah, man. Don't come here with no necklaces, no gold chains, and none of that flashy shit. Just come looking regular. Yesterday, I was even confused for being Colombian. You know what I'm saying? I went to the VIP and the, and the security to meet these dudes that I met, these New Yorkers. I met them up at the club, and then the, the, the security was like, yo, you can't. I'm like, yo, I'm with them. They was like, oh shit, you American? I'm like, yeah. They was like, oh shit, we didn't know. So, you know, I pass as Colombian until I open my mouth, or if I, if I look flashy, you know what I mean? So, there's that. And also, man, if you're trying to meet you a, a good girl over here, you ain't gonna really meet a good girl in Medellin, Cacajeras area, you know what I'm saying, with the clubs and all that. You're not really gonna meet a girl like that over here. You gotta meet her in a library, the museum, you know what I'm saying? Something nice at like the college campus or whatever, like, I don't know, like somewhere not here, because, I'm, I've been talking to dudes yesterday, and some of these dudes like, yo, I can't find no love. I'm like, where you looking? They're like, yo, I'm in the club. I'm like, yo, dog. You mean here ushering all these people saying, no love in the club? You know what I mean? Like, just, you know, use your brain. You know what I'm saying? In America, you know what I mean? It's not as, you know, shit. I mean, like, even in America with, 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 with some normal work, working chicks not working the stroll, I mean, working with the game or whatever. Even if you check, meet a chick in the, like, you know, in the club, she might be on that party life bullshit. You know what I mean? Like, you want to meet a girl in a legit spot through somebody, not really on Tinder. You know what I'm saying? And also, like, the, the legit girls here, they actually want to, they wouldn't sleep with you in the first night. You know what I'm saying? It'll take them a long time for them to even sleep with you. So if you meet a chick here and she's trying to sleep with you the first night, just a, that's, already, that's already a red flag. And if you have any drinks around your ass, you know what I'm saying? And some girl trying to come over and sleep the first night, you know what I mean? And you meet her here. Yeah, so if you're looking for love, 
Don't be coming to the clubs over here trying to look for love. You might get lucky. You never know. And some people say you could you still use Twitter. Yes, just be careful. You know what I'm saying? You gotta meet them in, in some legit spots. You can't meet them in no club over here. Same thing for Pattaya. Same thing for you know for Bangkok. You know what I'm saying? So you know uh, Dominican Republic, all them spots. Phuket. Just know that too. Another thing, the language barrier is crazy. Uh, yo, in comparison to Thailand and Philippines and stuff, where you you get a, like 95 or 98 percent of people speaking uh, English, that ain't the case over here. Like really, dude, I'm. <laughs> Like straight up, English is not very well spoken here at all. You'd be lucky if you find any any chick or whatever that speaks English. Google Translate is your friend, of course, to be able to talk to people or whatever. But still, you ain't gonna find people that actually speaks uh, any English like you, like you would in Philippines and Thailand and places like that. So just know that. So if you could learn some Spanish, that'll take you a long way. I don't know any. I, I know a little bit, but I don't you know not enough to introduce myself or whatever. Another thing too. This is you know. Don't walk home at night alone. Like, take your cab, take your Uber, call your Uber, call your Uber and freaking use that shit after 12 and 1 a.m. and stuff like that when there's nobody around. Even I heard like the cops, even the cops could be on some shit where they see you walking alone, try to check your pockets or whatever and plant some cocaine, or some drugs on you or whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? Get a bribe out of that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like bribe you or whatever. So don't walk home alone without a cab. You know what I'm saying? Just use your cab. Use your Uber. Like, share, subscribe. If you want me to go somewhere else, just let me know. Hello. They, you see they friendly, man. All you gotta do is just, just, just be, you know, just do what you gotta do. All right, later. Peace.